The U.S. economy generated 678,000 new jobs in February, far outpassing market expectations for just the 423,000 gain. In addition to the solid increase in employment, the unemployment rate fell to 3.8% in February from 4.0% in January. Additionally, more people trickled back into the labor market as the labor force participation rate improved to 62.3%, a tenth higher than what was reported in January. In February, leisure and hospitality added the most jobs, increasing by 179,000 new workers. Additionally, healthcare and social assistance employment increased by close to 100,000 new workers. And finally, from the goods producing side, construction and manufacturing jobs added a combined 96,000 new workers. There was one blemish or asterisk in the February employment report, and that was wage growth, which was unchanged in February from January on a sequential month-to-month -month basis. And on an annual basis, wage growth slipped to 5.1% from 5.5%. All in all, we like what we see in the latest job report. In regards to the slippage in wage growth, when we consider the three and six month trends in wage growth, they remain solid and considerably above the 12 month trend. But in the case that the weakness in wage growth is more than a blip, this would actually help inflationary pressures in the US economy. And more importantly, what this means is that the Federal Reserve could increase rates at a very slow and steady pace, ultimately producing a more durable and longer lasting U.S. economic expansion.